It's my wingspan. It's like almost six and a half feet right there. So about a month ago, I posted this video on my TikTok. It was a tour of a 300 square foot studio apartment and it went viral. So I'm back about to give you a full tour of this space. The tenants just moved out, it's empty. Let's go check it out. Welcome to the apartment. Starting off to my right, this is technically the bedroom. As you can see, the tenant has fully moved out and this place is gonna go very quickly just because of the location and that price point. So because this is a studio, we have dividing the bedroom from the rest of the space, this little curtain here. When you are living small in the city, you have to do things like this. So this is most likely a curtain from Amazon, a brass pole hung from the ceiling, and that is your divider from the bedroom space. As you remember in the TikTok, the TV was mounted to the wall. There's a dresser here, and we have window, which is awesome. It's street facing. The previous tenant actually built these. Also some cool detail above you, that stained glass. Nice little touch for the East Village. You actually have your gas meter in the apartment right by your intercom system keep the door shut just for some privacy. And right across from the bedroom, this is where they had it staged as the living room. There's a little love seat here with seating for two. The thing I love the most about this apartment is the exposed brick painted white, giving it a very kind of fresh feeling in here. Then above us, we have the ceiling fan, which is a nice touch. And we have that studio track lighting running the entire length of the apartment. From your living room, we then have a bit more space here, which divides into the kitchen. This wall juts out here, which is a nice division of the space. And the kitchen in this apartment is Pretty nice, all things considered. Brand new Bosch refrigerator freezer. You have brand new stainless steel microwave, four burner cooktop. The kitchen is all redone, deep set sink, and even right here, dishwasher. Believe it or not, if you're watching this from somewhere, let's say Kansas City, Oklahoma, you might think, why is that a big deal? But most apartments, especially in older buildings, don't have dishwashers, and this one does. Right across from the kitchen here, this is technically your dining room eating area. They have this little table here for three. Also in the kitchen, we have tons of cabinet space, which is a plus. So you can actually go to the grocery store, buy food and cook everything right in the apartment. Right by your quote dining room, you have your heating. This is an old apartment, it's boil heated. So this pipe right here heats up with hot water and essentially is heating this entire space. You have another one down below here, your AC unit, this window here, not much of a view at all. You have a nice view of an alleyway. And then the cool part about this place is behind me. You have your built-in closet space here. Let me pop this open. You actually have brand new industrial lighting in this closet. And for the size of the space, this is a fairly large closet. You might be, again, thinking this, watching this from wherever you are in the world, like what is wrong with people in New York? But this is a big closet for this high space. The cool thing about this apartment, it is technically a loft. If you see above me here, this whole back of the apartment was lofted off. I'm actually gonna climb up here for a sec. If you did live here, you'd probably get a ladder or a rope or something, but I'm gonna have to Spider-Man my way up here. So as you can see, Actually, when I just passed the camera, I'll vlog. Here we go. This is technically your storage slash sleeping loft. As you can see, there's a mattress back here currently, but you could use this if you needed to as a second bedroom or a storage space. I mean, it could be pretty cozy if you put a TV up here. Here is the view from down below of the entire space. Oh, there we go. And okay. From the main section to the very back of the apartment, you have the bathroom and this is a cool touch. You have the pocket door so you can close this off because you can't technically fit a door with hinges here. This is a great use of safe space. This whole bathroom is newly renovated. The shower, brand new, all the tiling here. This at one point was a window which has been bricked over. I think that's kind of unique. Makes a nice little shelf here. Here in the other view of the bathroom, there's one more window again facing an alleyway which is a bit of a drawback but not a deal breaker. Then you have your modern vanity and then the very back here, the executive office, the water closet. And this place is just about 300 square feet and it's on the market for $2,300 per month. A lot of comments on the TikTok were saying, who in their right mind would live here? You move into a place like this because New York City is the only place where you can make your dreams happen. You have to have such a strong reason to be in New York because it's not an easy place. Right now it's like 12 degrees out, it's the middle of January, it's not a fun place to be. But this is a very practical, and in my opinion, very well done space for that person who just moved to New York City and they're looking to make it happen.
I am now back in my apartment and it's one of those days, actually let me look, it is 12 degrees right now. Probably not gonna leave home for the rest of the day, just sit here, lounge around, read a good book, and it just so happens that I am in some of the most comfortable clothing for lounging. I'd like to thank Gym Plus Coffee, the sponsor of this vlog. It's an Irish athleisure and lifestyle brand with the focus on building community with their mission to make life richer. Gym Plus Coffee is my go-to weekend wear, whether I'm lounging around the apartment, getting in a workout on the rowing machine, or filming apartments around the city for me it's really the comfort of the clothing and the design not to mention they have 100 fully compostable packaging today i'm wearing the sierra fleece pullover in slate blue the buajaga 2.0 in black with the surge tea in black and of course the dark blue beanie to top it off and gym plus coffee is hooking you up if you use code conover you get 20 percent off your first order with gym plus coffee for me hands down favorite piece of clothing is the sierra fleece pullover in that beautiful slate blue again gym plus coffee thank you for sponsoring this portion of the vlog now i want to talk to you about tiny apartments don't mind the mess just some packaging and a rug that theo actually had an accident on but i want to show you this this is the entryway to my house and and here in this room this is my extremely messy laundry room. And this laundry room is very close to the size of the first apartment that I lived in when I moved to New York City. I promise you there's a point to all this. Let's head up the stairs for a moment. At the top of the stairs here, this, this is my loft. And this loft up here, this space is just about double the size of my first apartment when I moved here to New York City in 2013. Isn't that right, Theo? Granted, the ceiling is a bit low. I would have loved to have a space this big when I first moved to the city. This is a lot of space. And although quite messy, this is the biggest home I've lived in in my entire life. I'm talking from the time I was born till now. This is, this is the biggest space. Very messy, you know, trash everywhere, but it's, it's mine, it's my space. So the point of all that is that you could have fit six of my original studio apartments that I lived in with mice and cockroaches into this one Soho studio. And it's ironic because, not to say that I'm unhappy now, but some of the best times in my life were those early days when I first moved to the city and I was just scraping by living in a micro studio apartment. If you remember last year, I filmed a video showing you the smallest apartment in the city. It was 62 square feet. It was a prison cell. Some people called it a college dorm. And in that video, I mentioned that the person who rents this place out will have to have such a strong reason why. The stakes for that person must be so high for them to live in New York. Let's face it, New York City is not an easy city to make it in. It's a revolving door. People are constantly moving out and people are constantly moving here. It's a city for people who wanna work and people who have big dreams. And it just so happens the person who rented that small apartment is a guy named Axel Weber. You may have seen him on TikTok. He is an actor and he has documented his whole process auditioning for Juilliard, the struggles of moving to New York City and living in that apartment. And that's a perfect example. He's in New York City because it's the one place in the entire world where he can make his dream come true of being an actor. The best acting schools in America are in the city and he knows this is that one place where he can make that happen. A lot of times I film these videos and let me zoom out, my dog, my dog is actually right by my side a lot of the time. But anyway, all of you watching from Texas or from Florida, yes, in Texas with $2,300 per month, you can rent a four bedroom house with a swimming pool. But in Texas, you can't go to Juilliard and train with some of the best acting coaches in the world. New York City is that place like Jim and Coffee promotes that you can build that community. And that right there is why people rent these tiny micro studio apartments because they know they have to be in New York City. It's that one place in the world where they can make their dreams come true. With that, I hope you enjoyed this video. Comment down below if you wanna see more tours of micro studio apartments or those mega penthouses. Personally, I prefer filming the small apartments. I think it's more interesting than showing a $20 million penthouse. I hope you are well watching this and with that I will see you in the next video.